smack was knowing real good in life. Got indicted, they got all bad. It's knowing they can't walk around my hood without a hard pass. He stopped being stingy with the lean. The wisdom of your decision to participate in a PR offensive to win over the hearts and minds of the city. Well, first of all, I wouldn't phrase it like that, Nate. Uh, a PR offensive to win over the hearts and mind of the city. I mean, it makes it sound like I'm dropping propaganda pamphlets out of an airplane or something. Bro, all I'm trying to do is help the people in my community and get to know them better. That's it. <laughs> well, listen, you know, I don't question your desire to support your community. <laughs> but like but what, I've, I, I, what I've reported on is much more sophisticated than a simple desire to help. I mean, it seems a little, uh, how do you say, uh, Calculating. Okay, well, I'm the kind of guy that takes a very systematic approach to everything that I do. So I asked for the team's help on this because they've been part of this community for a long time, you know? And they have roots here, and I thought that it may be able to help me establish a relationship with the fans. You know, it's not some sort of evil scheme that's going on here. You know, I just know that if I want to accomplish something, I need to set a goal for myself. Simple as that. I mean, okay. Well, that's fair enough. I'm just asking questions here, MP. Well, that's just one way to put it. Well, okay. Well, how would you put it? <laughs> you know, man, it feels like you're trying to stir up some drama right now. But honestly, I'm not even mad about it, because that's your job. So I'll give you that. But it doesn't mean I'm not going to st not stand up for myself, though. You know, I'm not built that way and never have been. So you'll see for yourself soon enough. <laughs> okay. Okay. You got it. I was wondering if I could ask you about Nate White's report that you've been asked to participate in PR initiatives by the team. Yeah, sure. Well, I think it sounds like a really cool idea, and I'm wondering if you can talk about maybe some of the things you might be doing or some of the things you might be looking forward to. Well, John, I'd like to actually clarify things a little further. Sure. That's why we're here. Great. So, look, this organization, uh, one of the great things about it is they put everyone in a position to succeed. And not just for basketball players either, you know. Um, I've heard from people in the like of, in sales, you know, tell me their supervisors care about them and give them a path to advance if they do their job well. I mean, that's, I'm, I'm super lucky in that, that manner, but uh, I'm rambling right now, so. No, that's okay. Sorry. That's all right, take your time. Uh, more so what I'm trying to say is this organization excels at helping you reach your potential, you know, both on and off the court. You know, so they can ask you what you care about and really help you accomplish that goal, you know? Obviously, you know, I care about my community. No doubt, that's, that's always been a part of who I am. My parents instilled that in me since day one. Well, they sound like really good parents. They are. <laughs> uh, they're the best, man. Um, but anyway, I don't want to ramble on. I can see how people might think it's something more cynical than, you know, given the draft night and everything. But it's as simple as the team reaching out to me and seeing how they can support me in anything that I want to do. You know, um, I'm really grateful for that. You know, everyone here, everyone here has been fantastic since day one. Sounds like it. Thanks, Dan. Hey, MP, how are you? <laughs> My man, John, what's going on, man? <laughs> all right, all right. You chilling? Uh, duh, I'm chilling. I'm here doing all right. All huh? right. Hey, listen, you'll tell Ashley that I was here on time, right? Well, early. Right, actually? Yeah, bro, everything all right? Yeah, yeah. You scared me, man. No, no, everything's <laughs> fine, everything's fine. She just, she scares me a little well. Um, Ashley, <laughs> bro, she's a sweetheart, man. <laughs> she's a deer, and, uh, you okay. You know, I'm missing couples therapy because she said this was more important, so. Seriously? Yeah. Wait, hold on, you know we could just, like, reschedule. I can come no, back another no, time. No, no, no. Come you, on, are you MP, sure? No, it's fine, MP. I, you know, there'll always be another therapy session, right? All right. Okay. Let's get started. So, you've had a little time now to get acclimated to your new team and your new city. How have you felt adapting to this new environment? That's a great question. Um, you know, I, I don't adapt to the environment. You know, I, I try to make it a point to make the environment adapt to me. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, don't take it this wrong way, but How's that working out for you so far? No, I didn't take it the wrong way. Uh, it, yeah, there's been a bump or two, but it's nothing I can't really handle. And does that make you think you need to take more of a adaptive approach? Mm, 
Maybe. I mean, you really never know if your choices are right or wrong until after you make them, right? Hmm, sometimes you do. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> All right, that's fair, that's fair, that's fair. But you know what I mean, though. You know, um, me and P, I'm more of a take action kind of guy. You know, so I don't like sitting here, you know, waiting or deliberating uh, over an idea before doing it. You know, I act fast and I review, you know, once I have some time to see if it worked or not. You know, self-reflection is a major thing for me. Okay, then, last question. Uh -oh. Now that you're finding your footing on this team and with the fans, mm -hmm. if you look ahead to the end of the season, where do you see yourself and this team? Ooh, um, okay, how about this? Mm -hmm. I can either give you the same boring answer that everyone else <laughs> gives you, <laughs> or I could talk to you about where I see myself in this city a year from now. Oh. Yeah, okay. I think uh, your readers might find that a little bit more interesting. No, okay, sure, I can pivot. Yeah. Uh, where do you see yourself in this city? What's next for MP? Well, this, uh, this may not be my hometown, but this is my home now. <laughs> you see what I did there? Mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm just looking forward to having a positive impact on the lives of the people that live here. How so? Well, obviously delivering on that promise of uh, delivering a championship. Mm -hmm. Sooner or later, that's everyone's goal. Uh, but I also plan on working off the court to improve and enhance the lives of everyone who lives in this city, basketball fan or not. You know what I'm saying? Because community is pretty big to me. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I want to use my profile as well as my resources to help really make this community flourish. Well, thank you, MP. It's been great spending time with you. Likewise, man. Hey, now tell Ashley I said hello and uh, I'm sorry. For what, bro? <laughs> What's going on? I don't even know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> all right, check this out, John. Oh. Let's take this one day at a time. Okay. All right? You'll get there, man. And uh, send the best to the missus, all right? Okay, will do. Thanks, man. Brother. Okay. Hey, thanks to you finding the bucket. How does it feel? Man, listen, there's a lot, a lot, a lot of love on this squad, man. And these guys go out here, and these, these guys are my brothers, flat out. You know, they trust me to take these shots. So it feels good to get, you know, validated that they trust me by knocking them down. Did the coach tell you to look more for your outside shot? I mean, coach wants us to take the right shot. And that's usually an open three-pointer or a layup. You know, they were laying off me tonight, so, you know, I took the shot. But if they press up, I know my teammates are going to cut and get open after that. Mm-hmm. Looks like a winning strategy. Right on. Thanks, man. MP. Thanks for stopping by. Come on, man. I always got time for you, Fred. Oh. <laughs> hey, listen, I want to say thank you to you and the team for the tremendous job you're doing connecting with the fan base. On behalf of the entire organization... Oh, I would we... not say the entire organization. Right. Well, sounds like you're keeping them happy, too, clearing your on-court hurdles. I wouldn't call them on-court hurdles. That's the fun stuff, man. And, oh, your stuff is fun, too, but kind of in a, you know, embarrassing, yet humbling, uh -huh. but fun kind of way still, wow. you know, kind of There's that charm that's got your likability rating up 11 points. <laughs> Don't play me, man. 11 points? That's got to be some sort of record right there, it's man. It's very impressive what? in a short amount of time. Like I said, you're doing a tremendous job. I appreciate you, Fred. Hey, have a seat. How you doing, coach? What? I said, how you doing, coach? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> What'd you say? I said, how you doing, man? Oh, great. I'm great. What's going on, man? First time we met, you gave me a speech about Tribe being the greatest group of all time. This don't sound like Tribe. Well, I just don't want to be closed-minded and thought I'd try some new stuff out. All right. Expand my musical palette. How you digging that so far? I don't know yet. But, uh, look, obviously I didn't ask you here to talk about music and, uh, not one for speeches, so I'll... I'll just say, uh, congrats. You're running with the starters next ah, time out. Stop playing with that. Let's go! Hey, you've done everything right and then some. But you can't let up, though, no, no, right? No, no, that is not an issue at all, coach. Oh, I can't wait to see my name up on that board in the locker room, man. We're really excited for you, MP. You just keep doing what you're doing, and this is just the beginning. I got you, coach. <laughs> Let's go! Big news, big, big news. Rookie standout MP will be making his first appearance in the starting lineup tonight. Quicker than many NBA insiders predicted, which begs the question, is this MP's I told you so moment? Stan, you've been hanging with JJ too long. <laughs> Rookie standout? 
Are you okay? All right, well, I'm guessing that you would not be calling this his I told you so moment then. I told you what? That's my president of basketball operation is forcing me into the starting lineup so he doesn't look bad. Oh, wow. come on, Kendrick. That's not fair. Why not? Why not? We already know the hash and the little PR scheme to make MP and the front office look good. This could just be part of that. <sighs> that that's a completely separate issue. I know their top assistant, Wayne Graves, really, really well from my time at Duke. He knows and believe me. Duke. He'd never join a staff where the front office dictates who starts. That's not how things are done over there, point blank. And I know, because I'm plugged in. Well, then are you ready to say right here, right now, this is his I told you so moment? Mm. I, I wouldn't go that far. Until MP proves he's better than Shep, he's mm. not in a position to say I told you so to anyone. That's what this drama is all about in the first place. Even J.J., even J.J. agrees with me. <laughs> MP hasn't proven anything. I, I, I didn't say that, Perk. I didn't say that. MP deserves to start. All I'm saying is he's got a long way to go before he makes fans in the city forget about Shep, who's had an excellent start to his career, too. Yes. Until he puts Shep in the rearview mirror, these comparisons will continue to haunt him. J.J., guess what? I'm actually proud of you. You got most of that right. Most of that. I have my moments. <laughs> and MP... I would love for you to prove me wrong, brother. Believe me, I got love for everyone in the association. That's definitely that's not, not true. true. Not true. But the lights are only going to get bigger and brighter from here. Can you handle it? I've got some big-time doubts. Carry on. Okay, okay, everybody bring it in. Let's go, let's go. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Come on, guys, let's go. All right, guys, I'll make this quick. All right. Now, yeah. as we all know, this is our beloved rookie MPs. First game in the starting lineup. Let's yeah. get yeah. Speech. 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 You guys are one step ahead of me today. What's new, coach? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. MP, it's all you, kid. Rally the troops. Thanks, coach. Hey, yeah, I know I'm not big on speeches, man, <laughs> but it is an honor to be going to battle with y'all. <laughs> and I know I'm gonna do everything that I can right. do to help us get this done. All right? Now let's bring it in. Let's go. Bring it in. You're gonna get a win on yeah. three. One, two, three, win! win. Ready, folks, these two teams love pushing the ball. Greg, we could see a track meet tonight. Two of the top fast break teams in the league, Kevin. As far as keys, limiting turnovers is going to be big because they each want to get out and run when they get the chance. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. The talented pair of Middleton and Giannis in at forward. Thomas is out there with Holiday, and it's Portis in at the center. And they call an illegal screen. And that's a quick foul. Holiday kicks to Middleton. The three from Thomas. Rebounded by the Timberwolves. And this is the first season matchup for them against this Milwaukee team. And this game will be half of the contest they'll play against each other this year. It's an interesting matchup. Two teams that don't know each other all that well. Separate conferences. We'll see which one can dictate the pace early. Offensive rebound. Portis on the follow. Just in a perfect position to grab that rebound and then get the putback. Edwards against Thomas. Friends outside. Russell from long range. Second chance shot. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact. And he'll go to the line for two. Boy, wreaking havoc with his size down there. The stifled power Rudy Gobert assertive. My goodness. The Timberwolves shooting their initial free throws of the game right here. Yeah, a year ago, though, Kevin, 78% conversion rate from the free throw line. So that's a nice all-around effort. Holiday gets the bucket. A really smart player. Holiday can find the spaces inside and exploit them for points. Oh, here's Edwards. And here's Prince outside. Good on the triple. Wow, they finally get it to go down on their fourth try. 
first 130 gone here in the first quarter. Guys, you have to remember when thinking and talking about the Minnesota Timberwolves, it's an organization that is still so young. Here's Holiday. Eight points his last outing. Goes back up. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Never easy to stop this guy at the rim, but that is a beautiful contest right there. You know, basketball historians will remember that the Minneapolis Lakers Doris won five titles before relocating to Los Angeles in 1960. And I think the current crop of t Wolves fans, Kevin, see this as a completely different franchise from that historic team. In their minds, they haven't won a championship yet. And that fact should really motivate this current roster to get one for this group. So it's the Timberwolves now after the basket by Milwaukee. There's Russell with the three. Antetokounmpo pulls it in. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. And Holiday kicks to Giannis. The three from Thomas. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. Gobert has got his fourth rebound in this one. Not a lot falling for him in this quarter. He's got to stay aggressive, try to break through. See if you can get an easy opportunity. Oh, here's Edwards. Against Phoenix, he was really on his game. They grabbed their own miss. And good work on the boards that pick up the second chance points. And this is what Rudy Gobert's job is. Be a force on the glass. A moment now to hear from our sideline reporter, Hall of Famer, David Alder. David. Thanks very much. I spoke briefly with Chris Finch. He understands they're facing a team that can put up points in a hurry. He said they need to put forth a great effort defensively to prevent scoring runs. They can't afford to let those guys get hot and stay hot. We'll see who wins the battle of wills here tonight. Thank you, David. Yeah, they're trying to devise a way to contain some big-time weapons. Hey, guys, it has got to be a collective effort. Really important that they have the trust and helping one another will be key. And I think it's going to be hard, obviously, because this is an opponent that can really space you out as well as get to the rim. So you've got to be sound and disciplined. And Milwaukee calls their first time out of the game. And now in the final. Substitution on the court. Underneath in the post, Towns and Gobert. Backcourt guards are Russell and Edwards. And it's Prince in at the three, the small forward. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Timberwolves. Snatched up. That's in, and he found his range with that one. Now one for two. And with his length and explosiveness, it's never a surprise to see Giannis get points on the offensive glass. Great nose for the ball. Now here's Gobert. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And after a lackluster performance in last year's playoff, Russell has some making up to do. Yeah, and the efficiency has been a problem. Now, if you're a player whose primary value is at the offensive end, you can't just be a volume scorer. Middleton against Prince. Passes it to Thomas. A three-pointer, no good. The Timberwolves shooting at a 32% clip from the field. They're just not executing. Out to Edwards. Gobert trying to get open. And there's Edwards on the assist by Russell. Russell's got three assists in the game. Outside Holiday. Middleton on the win. Just about a minute and a half has gone by here in the second. Pass to Thomas. Just five to shoot. Well, we're used to seeing a lot of player movement in the offseason. So how long do you think it takes to us for a reconstructed team to get together and find that mesh point? Kevin, that is not an answer we will know. A season has to play out. Look back to the Boston Celtics, who were 20 and 21 at one point before going on to the NBA Finals. Chemistry, how you're going to play, new faces, all of these things have to find a way to come together. And if Giannis is anywhere close to you, don't shoot. His length covers a ton of ground, and boy, is he fast. Now, here is Holiday. And again, the Bucks miss. He's so frustrated. Hasn't had a make-all game. It's making it very difficult for them to find any success. 
Russell passes to Edwards. Those three pointers off the mark. He couldn't believe how open he was. He just couldn't convert it. Middleton on the wing. Back to Thomas. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. The correct decision by Middleton moving to his wide open teammate, Chris, a terrific passer off the wing. Pass to Prince. Giannis against Towns. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. Near the three point line, it's Edwards. They get it back. Gobert. Rejection by Giannis. Thomas outside. It's hauled in by Carl Anthony Towns. Towns has got four rebounds now tonight. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. And he's an automatic finisher when he gets into that area. He is, and he picks the simple one-hand stuff to get the two points. From deep, Thomas, it's good from long range. Thomas got it all tied up now for the Bucks. With how well MP has been playing lately, it's a little surprising, Greg, that more fans haven't gotten behind him. Yeah, I mean, he's given them what they want, unless what they wanted was Shep on. Then it'll take a lot of great nights for MP to satisfy those. Timeout out call, first of the game for Minnesota. <laughs> Anthony Edwards has been leading the charge for the minutes. Back to the middle of the with the force. Your middle of the first day award. 41. The box. 39. We've got second half action for you, and if the next couple quarters are similar to the first, this one could go down to the last possession. You know, Anthony Edwards has been exceptional here, guys. And, and you know he's going to put up points every time out, but... Boy, he made it look so easy in that first half. And let's see if he continues that trend the rest of the way. He certainly has the talent and the endurance to do just that. And Milwaukee, looking at who they've got. Middleton, the small forward, with Giannis Antetokounmpo as the power forward. Holiday out there with Thomas. And it's Portis in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. That was a second look at our mobile one drive. Amazing control on display. It's all about the ability to get two feet in the paint, whether it's creating for a teammate or for yourself. Holiday finds Antetokounmpo. It's good. That's now eight points for Giannis. It may be the most bankable play in this offense. Antetokounmpo on the roll with the finish. That's a two from Towns. Rebounded by the Bucks. Portis has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. The offensive rebound. And Hunter Takumbo gets it to go. And how about the effort? You did think a little contact would prevent Giannis from scoring, did you? And Greg, even with teams daring Giannis to shoot from outside, his career three-point percentage stuck below 30%. And still an elite score because of his proficiency at the rim. But it's been said before, if he adds the triple, he'll be truly unguarded. Onto Takumbo, passes to Middleton. Holiday surveying the floor from deep. Thomas, it's good. The assist that time from Holiday. Holiday's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Outside Edwards. Prince outside, and again, Minnesota with the triple. Boy, that's three for four this half. You like that they're starting with a little bit of extra energy. Nice. Middleton dishes to Antetokounmpo. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee, and he gets it to go. Holiday's got eight points. Able to absorb contact. Holiday is not someone that is prone to lose focus on these tough takes. Prince, the pass to Gobert. Here's Prince. There's the three. Hands it from downtown. Prince has got the lead up to four now for the Timberwolves. Their third three-pointer in a row. It's Thomas outside. Minnesota with the rebound. 
Gobert has got 11 rebounds in the game. I'll tell you, no matter what he does, he can't find his rhythm, and you get the sense he's starting to press a little bit. And they have been relentless from deep, and you see the defense trying to react, but to no avail. Well, that's the whole point, isn't it? If you space the floor well enough, it's almost impossible for the defense to account for everyone. Bucks trail by seven. And so on to Dekumbo looking over it. There's the lob at Dekumbo, and Giannis throws the tackle. And if you're looking to make a big play with the pass, you've got to love Giannis. He's a big target on those alley-oop lobs. Oh, here's Edwards. He's got 20. Here's the three. And another three for Minnesota. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. Just under three and a half minutes played here in the third quarter. Thomas gets to Holland. The three. The rebound by Prince. A good job by him on the glass here tonight. Plus eight in that department. Not loose. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on the gen. That is his first foul of the game. And so it's Middleton with it. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. They trail by seven. Two big men inside. Towns and Gobert. Backcourt guards are Russell and Edwards. And it's Prince in at the three. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. First team foul. Russell against Thomas. The pass to Edwards. And Edwards with the stuff. Boy, this guy's such an instinctive passer. D'Angelo Russell could average double-digit assists if he wanted to. Now here's Thomas. Lopez passes to Thomas. And a miss there on the triple. Minnesota leading by six. Edwards can't hit. Boy, this guy is a good finisher, so he misses a chippy. That's tough to take. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That one is on time. A determined shooter who excels at the charity strike. Middle two will gladly head to the line. And here's Russell. Outside, Edward. Back to Russell. Kicks it to Prince. Passes it to Russell. Lock at six. Gobert trying to get open. Great D that time from Thomas. Well, this has not been his finest hour, but give your teammates some credit for doing the job of stepping in. Shoots the three. Rebound, Minnesota. And gotta like what they've been doing down low in the post. Prince wide open. No good with the triple. Bucks trail by five. Connaughton with it. Pass to Portis. Shot clock at five. There's Thomas at the three. After the strong first half, this guy has not been the same. And largely a no-show right here. And that one's good. Russell. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Bucks have gone one of four since the end of the third quarter. Connaughton with it. Running down by Prince. Connaughton kicks to Middleton. Thomas passes to Connaughton. Let's it go with a three. Offensive rebound. Portis on the follow. Oh, big time put back there. What a great motor on this guy. There is no one who goes after those rebounds harder. Prince outside. Get through, get through, get through. Oh, 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 oh. Just over two and a half minutes played now here in the final quarter of regulation. Ball coming, ball coming. To the paint. 
And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the content. It goes on Chris Middleton. Many teams could use a multi-position defender like Torian Prince. Well, defensively, you know that Torian is going to play with great effort night after night. He does an incredible job contesting shots, fighting through screens, and offensively, obviously, his value comes as a spot-up shooter. Here's what Milwaukee's going with right now. Giannis Antetokounmpo is checked in for Lopez, and it's Holiday in for Pat Connaughton. Now a timeout called by Milwaukee Edwards with a strong contribution so far in this one. Yeah, I think they've got to be talking about just guarding him a little more tightly on the perimeter or keep the ball out of his hands as much as possible, period. That's about the only way you're going to cool this guy off. There's Thomas with the three. It's hauled in by Carl Anthony Town. Yeah, just a solid job on the backboard. They are really controlling the inside. Well, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. Now oh, here's Middleton. And you see Middleton on the perimeter a lot, but he's really been trying to add strength to that 6'8 frame so he can mix it up a little more inside. Middleton hits them both. Minnesota leading by five. Russell passes to Prince. Inside. Here's Gobert. Makes it off the glass. That's seven points for Rudy Gobert. Assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball move. From deep, Thomas. Here's onto Takumbo. Add another basket to his impressive total. It's his ninth against 12 attempts. And you know he knows he's the leader of this team. Giannis embracing the opportunity to come through with big baskets. The Timberwolves working the ball around now. It's Prince on the wing, defended by Middleton. Towns for three, buries it from three-point range. Towns has got the lead up to eight now for the Timberwolves. And it's out to Takumbo with the ball. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. Holiday finds Middleton. Here's Thomas. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. And what's your take on this on the hustle sticks for Minnesota? They've been running away from the defense all game. I mean, loads of points here off the fast break, and the opposition just hasn't been able to adjust to that aggressive play style. Something else that they've had working for them is attacking the offensive blast. Boy, taking advantage and creating second-chance points. Impressive. Off target there. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Here's onto Takumbo. Good work there as it goes. Giannis has got 21 in the game. And a terrific offensive display here from Giannis, just reminding us of how dominant he can be. 124 left in the fourth quarter of this one. Near the three point line, it's Edwards. Onto Takumbo pulls it in. Giannis has got double digit rebounds now in the game. Pass to Holiday. Middleton against Prince. The three from Thomas. Doesn't go that time. So Minnesota will take it the other way. Here's Edwards. And Middleton with the block. What defensive focus from Middleton. Able to anticipate the shot and get a hand on it. Takes a three. A rebound by the Timberwolves. I'll tell you, this has not been his game. And he's making it worse with shot selection like that. And that's an intentional foul. Bobby Focus. Second personal foul. Fourth team foul. Good on the first, and that makes it a seven-point lead. And you watch Torian Prince and how valuable he is to his team for a couple of reasons. Number one, he doesn't make a lot of mistakes. He defends at a high level, and he can really stretch the floor. Here's Thomas. Rudy Gobert with the rebound. And the Timberwolves with possession here. Well, for the Timberwolves, they can just run out the clock here. Holiday against Russell. Stolen by Thomas. Outside Holiday. A shot off that time. 
And so Minnesota takes the win. It was a fantastic ball game, and they did a great job making sure it didn't get away from the point. And that's how we live it. Don't be mad at the system. It's simply how we've existed. I hear a lot of people talking like they politicians and choose to be.